Hey everyone, we're here at the Lennox and Addington Dark Sky viewing area. There are a bunch of people and the pad is actually full. So I'm camped out on these rocks uh, near the parking lot so that I get a nice view and I'm not uh, breaking any social distancing rules. So let's see if uh, the comet's going to make an appearance and how good an image we can get tonight. I wanted to show you guys where it's actually located. It's pretty low on the horizon. You can see here the Big Dipper, which I have highlighted. And over the next couple days, the comet's going to move higher and higher into the sky. And this is a representation of that. However, something that needs to be noted is that as it moves higher and higher, it's actually moving farther and farther away. So while it'll be easier for most people to see it, it will actually drop in intensity uh, quite significantly, which by the 23rd, 24th, or 25th of July in 2020, it's going to be pretty dim and far more difficult to see. Um, and a telescope will be required if you want to still catch it before it leaves to the deep solar system. So here we are in the middle of the night. Um, we're still imaging the comet. Uh, people are coming and going here at the dark sky viewing area. So I'm going to do a bit of processing to get this done. But um, it is absolutely amazing. It's um, a really good spot, low here, it's above the tree line. And uh, yeah, we're really enjoying it. And uh, I hope you enjoy some of the photos that I get, which I'm going to show you now. So I found the comet pretty low in the sky, um, far lower than I thought it was going to be. And as you can see here in this time lapse, as it sort of moves through the sky with a couple of jumps as people were coming and going at the dark sky preserve, that it moved along just above the tree line and eventually sort of into the trees. Which gets me to this final image, which is sort of the, I'm going to call the hand of Groot. And it's where the comet was at its darkest point in the sky. I ended up stacking several images to get this final image, but it was very difficult because of the consistent light pollution from everybody sort of walking around at the dark sky location. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really did enjoy taking this picture. I thought it was kind of cute because it does kind of look like a Groot. I should probably stick a smiley face on it. There we go. And hopefully that's going to uh, finish off the photo part for this, despite the hassles of it being so low in the sky. I really enjoyed taking an image of this comet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit crazy. Uh, IR light technology here, but um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider giving it a like and uh, if you want to see more astrophotography, uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to be reviewing some uh, Nikon lenses that I used to actually take this photo tonight and talk more about how you can get a nice Nikon vintage lens, cheap, that actually does really good with astrophotography. All right, so after a uh, night of uh, comet chasing, what uh, better way to, um, <clears throat> not quite a wait yet, but uh, follow that up by picking uh, beans. <laughs>